There you go, guys. Little spillways and reservoirs. Easiest way to find some gizzard shad from the bank. What's going on, guys? There's plenty of videos out showing you how to locate and throw cast nets off the boat to find gizzard shad. Today, we're down at a spillway for a local water reservoir. We're going to show you guys the easiest way to find gizzard shad from the bank and how to throw a seven foot cast net. So, the first thing you're going to want to do make some coils in your hand. Not too big, not too small. It's not an exact science. Just some roughly one foot coils. This is the horn of the net. You're going to take the horn, lay it over the top of your hand. Don't get your net tangled in the rocks. You're going to grab the net about waist height. Bring that over. Lay that on top. So now you got all the net in one hand. Grab your lead line. Go over. Hold it with your thumb. Run your non-dominant hand back down the side. We're just going to flip about a third of the net over into our hand. We're going to release with our dominant hand first, trailing with our non-dominant, and all in the hips, make a little easy motion. And that's it. There you go, guys. Little spillways and reservoirs. Easiest way to find some gizzard shad from the bank. Now looking across the spillway, we can see there's a little swirl over there created by the current coming out. So we're going to try to target that little swirl on the other side. nothing in that throw but perseverance we will keep trying What you got there, honey? Bye. And that's why we made the pack bait so we could catch carp. Let me.